your mind is your most powerful asset. And what you fill your mind with is what you use in life. If you fill your mind with unhelpful jargon and unhelpful knowledge, because I don't believe in positive and negative. Something is either helpful or it's not helpful. It's either helping you get towards where you want to go or it's taking you where you don't want to go. On Wednesday, ELC Business Solutions hosted Klaus Bredrake, Tony Wake, and the author of the book Millionaire at 22, Albert Van Wake, as part of the Get to Know Your Business talk. The trio shared their skills and innovative business tools to entrepreneurs and local business owners alike. Suburb News spoke to each of the speakers to find out more about their individual take on how to run a successful business. Uh, a business, being in business is like being in a relationship and what you get in is what you, uh, what you put in is what you get out. And the same thing in life, you, you have to fill yourself with enough knowledge, information and experience to know that I continuously grow, I'm continuously growing myself, I'm building myself as a person and indirectly my business as well. Uh, with that said, as well, you, as in business, you need business coaching, you need business advice, you need to get a mentor to assist you with that growth the same way in your personal life. I mean, that's why we have friends, we have people we trust, we have coaches and therapists, and those type of people who we go to for assistance, for input, to help spark that different idea. Steven Robbins says strategy links the vision with the current reality. So think about this. Now you have your passion. You have the vision, where you want to go. What is your destination of that business? Now you've established all the knowledge that you need. Now, what do you do now? When you understand your business, if you have real business knowledge of your business, you can have two of the same businesses, supply the same product and services, working in the same industry, but the business knowledge, the way things are being done, how they grow and how they improve, are then um, different. Business is started out of passion, but we've seen now that business is also started out of me. People are retrenched, people don't know um, what to do, so they start going into business without any business knowledge. So we deem it necessary to really focus on getting the first things right, having the passion, not letting that passion burn out, setting yourself a vision, having the knowledge, getting going into a direction, having objectives and achieving that. And then over now is going to talk about the, the journey that you're taking. I just wanted to be able to buy any bike that I would like to have. And I started, as a youngster, I started tackling my dad with these questions. So, how do you make money? How do, you, how do I get this bike? What do I need to do? And my, my family is a worker class family, so my dad came to a point where he said, and I appreciate this so much, he said, Albert, I'm not a millionaire. I cannot teach you to be one. And then he gave me my first book. I think it was a John C. Maxwell book. I wish I still had it. And that is, is what happened there. He said, I'm not a millionaire and I can't teach you to be one. You need to learn from a millionaire. If you want to be the best business person in the world, you're going to need to learn from the best pers business person in the world. My journey um, to becoming a millionaire at the age of 22 is a really personal driven journey. I think um, it comes, I, I don't come from a generation of wealth, I don't come from a wealthy family. So it's that personal journey of building through and you know, creating your own success in a way um, with your team surrounding you, you know, that, that personal journey, that walk through life to get to that point. Most of our parents is in a poor, lower income class. So they can't teach us financial concepts. That was the initial goal. But the feedback I've been getting from all the people as well, I mean, we have events where the average age is between 30 and 40. I mean, people really learn from this and take these tools and tips. Because uh, I think there's that lack of financial education in South Africa. And I think the Millionaire 22 movement bridges that gap. So the first thing I, I learned early in life is that you need to read a lot of business books. And if you're not keen on reading, you at least need to take in a lot of content. 